right, so we are almost done with our basic tank controller. So what we're going to focus on in this video is getting the turret to face wherever the position of the reticle is. Okay, so why don't we just take care of the reticle and the turret in this same video? Because it'll just make it more sense. And because positioning the, the reticle is actually quite simple. So um, let's jump over into Unity and get going. Okay, so let's start by getting the reticle to be positioned wherever the cursor, or I'm sorry, the input dot mouse position is, or the little cursor here uh, in the game view. Okay, so I'm going to jump back over into Visual Studio, and what I want to do is create another method here called handle reticle, like so. All right, and in order to move the reticle, let's actually set up this method first. So I'm going to do another protected virtual void and let's just copy it so we don't have to type it in all right there we go and in order to move the reticle we need to get a reference to the actual transform that the reticle is or the game object okay so I'm gonna create another header attribute here we're gonna call this the reticle properties now you could always put this in the input script as well but in this case, I'm going to put it in the controller script. Now, it, you know, it's a toss up whether or not, you know, one is better than the other. So I'm just going to put it in the controller class here. All right. So I'm going to make this a public uh, transform. And I'm just going to make it a transform. That way I don't have to, you know, if it, if it were a game object, then I would have to, um, you know, look for the transform. So I would say something like, um, you know, tra transform dot. Or you'd say something like, you know, game object dot transform right dot position in this case I just want to say transform dot position kind of deal okay so uh, what I'm gonna do is call this the reticle transform like so all right so I'm gonna copy that so I don't have to type it and we're gonna say if we have that reticle transform then we're simply going to say that the reticle transform dot position is equal to our input dot reticle position all right we set all that information up so with that all set up let's come back into unity here and hit play all right so now the reticle should be placed wherever the mouse is but we need to actually assign it all right so i'm a little off my game right now so let's drag and drop the reticle there and hit play again there we go so now the reticle is being placed wherever the mouse cursor is. Cool. All right, so let's get the turret to point towards that reticle position. All right, so I'm going to jump back into Visual Studio here. And again, I'm going to create that protected virtual void. And again, I'm doing this that way I can override any one of these particular methods in a different script without having to rewrite the whole script. OK, we're going to call this handle reticle. And you can probably see a little pattern starting to form. This is basically what I like to do, and it's not handle reticle. We want to do a handle turret. There we go. All right, so I like to break out all my components or you know script components. That's not even a good way to put it. I like to handle or break out all my functionality into these kind of componentized methods instead of having you know these massive methods I've seen a lot in in Unity uh, projects. So. I'm going to put that right there. So I'm going to handle the turret and then handle the reticle. Now you could move these around however you want. You know, it's it's not really a, an issue at this point. All right. So for this, now we need to get the turret transform. So I'm going to create another header up here. And we're going to say uh, turret properties, like so. And I'm going to say public transform. And we're going to call this the turret transform like so pretty easy stuff all right so now if we have that we're gonna say if we have that transform all right so if it's populated with something okay then what we're gonna do is we need to get a direction from the turret transform all right from its position to the reticle position so in order to do this we need to make a new vector three and we're gonna call this the turret looker okay so for look direction, right? And that's going to be equal to our input dot reticle position. Remember, that's the position where the mouse is, okay? Minus our turret 
transform that position. Okay. Cool. So that basically creates, let's come back in Unity and try to visualize this. So what that does is it creates a direction that points towards the reticle. All right. So it takes the current position of the turret right over here. Okay. And it points it towards this. And we can use that information. All right. So let's see how we use this information now. We can use that information to create a look direction. All right. So we're going to say that the turret transform dot rotation is equal to a quaternion dot look rotation. And we need to provide it a vector. And this vector is that turret look -der. So we're going to say turret look -der. like so. All right, so let's take a look. So this isn't going to work right off the bat, but I want to show you how to debug different types of issues. Okay, so let's go and assign the turret. So I'm going to come in the graphics group here and get this turret group because this is what I want it to rotate on. Okay, so I'm going to assign that turret group. That's that transform into that turret transform property. All right, so let's hit play here. And you'll notice that we are getting it to rotate. And actually, it is, is it? It's totally working, isn't it? Oh, no, it's not totally working. See how it's actually kind of pointing towards it? Now, you might like that. Um, that's not how tanks really work. Now, in a cartoony situation or a stylized type of game, maybe that's you know how you want it to work. Um, but I want the gun to rotate up and down and the turret to rotate left and right. So you can see that it's you know not working totally right. So all we need to do, super easy fix, come into Visual Studio here. We need to take the current turret lookter all right when you get that y component because currently the y component has value in it okay so if i come back here into unity i'll try to you know visualize this for you guys a little bit more all right so if this gets really close you can see that you know the position of the turret head to the reticle would create a direction that points downwards and that's why the turret head is actually looking down towards the reticle so all we need to do is remove any Y information that we have. So we're just going to set it to zero. All right. Super easy. All righty. So let's go and take a look and see what that looks like now. So I'm going to hit play. All right. So perfect. So now you can see if I get the reticle anywhere near the tank, it doesn't look down at it. We want the gun to just look down at it. All right, so that's what I wanted. All right, so the next thing that I want to do before I close out the video is just put a little bit of lag on the turret head there. So I'm going to come into the Visual Studio IDE here, and I want to put in a public uh, float, and we're going to call this the turret lag speed. And I'm going to set it something like 0.5. All right, okay. And I also need to create a private variable. This is going to store that final look direction and this is going to be a vector three so it's going to be the final turret look dir and you'll see why here in a second so i'm going to copy that come back down to our handle turret method here and right before we assign the look direction to our transform dot rotation i want to say that the final turret look dir is equal to a vector three dot lerp and we want to go from the final turret look direction so whatever that is currently set to to our wanted or our turret lookter, sorry, by times dot delta time times our turret lag speed. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to create a little bit of lag because the final turret look direction, this vector three right here, is going to be constantly trying to catch up to the actual turret look direction that we're calculating up here. Okay, so let's go back into Unity and check it out. Alrighty, so let's go and hit play now. Alright, and it's it's pretty hard to see right now. So let's go back up to our tank and let's set our lag speed to something like 0 0.02 and see what happens. And <laughs> I forgot to assign the final tur turret look direction to our look rotation. So there we go. So let's go back into Unity here. And hit play. And there we go. 
So now we're getting a nice lag. Perfect. So it's a little slow, actually. You can maybe pump it up to like point 1.2. Let's see what, what we get. It's still pretty slow. Let's put it up to like 3. There we go. Maybe 5. Yeah, you can play around with all these values as much as you like. Let's say 10. There we go. That feels nice and arcadey enough, but still has a little bit of fun to it. Maybe like eight. There we go. Cool. All right. So I'm going to call that good. Uh, remember, you know, after you are setting values while in play mode, just to copy the component that you've been working on, come out of play mode, and then just paste those component values, and now you're set. Okay. So I'm going to leave you guys there. And in the next video, what we're going to do is just set up the post effects by taking a look at Unity's new post effects system that's still in preview. Um, and then we're going to call it good. All right. Thanks so much.